<laughs> so close, Addy Tooney. So close. Now we're live. Live on my channel. What up, everybody? What is happening? What up, Steve-O? My peeps in the house. Raymond Cummins. What's up, Steve. Raymond? Friction! What up, Friction? Good. Uh, who else rolling around out there? Zippy! What up, Zippy? She saw DIY. She came in running. Tam Vapes. Glam Tam in the house. What up, Glam Tam? Hey, Tam. Lori's here. What up, Lori? Uh, Dana Hello, Yay! Lori. How you doing, Dana Yay? Tony Laura. How you doing, Tony? Ronnie Rasmussen in the house. What up, Ronnie? Grass. Steven Sard. How you doing, Steven? Great Wombatsky in the house. How you doing, Wombats? Wombats is always here. Always here. Always ready. Wesley Spore, how are you doing, Wesley? Dustin Singham, what up, Singham fam? Uh, who else rolling around out there? BT. What up, BT Cruises? What up, dude? What, what up, BT? BT? Fat Cat vaping in the house. What up, Fat Cat? Is my Fat Cat in here? I don't see her. That doesn't mean she's not in here, though. She could be hiding. Uh, Mixotic, what's up, Mixotic? How you doing? Larry! Larry! Hey. Larry Staler. What up, man? Red Wagon, how you doing, Ryan? I am. Doing good. First timer, welcome. 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 Well, hopefully we can break into the DIY scene fairly fairly nice and easy. Yeah, he uh, he said that he just gotten his uh, first supplies today. Nice. Nice. So perfect timing. Perfect timing. Uh, Hesh also has a, a uh, first time. Hesh has done some mixing. Let's, let's make this real clear. So yeah. Hesh, has, yeah. Hesh has done some mixing, but not for himself. He's been involved in uh, helping other people put their lines together, things like that. He's never actually put a recipe together for himself. So Correct. clear the air in case in case all of a sudden Hesh yeah, just yeah, yeah. takes it, off it, and it, starts it, doing stuff. It's not my it's not my first rodeo. If I just keep going while the guys are talking and everything, uh, yeah. by all means, I, I've. I helped uh, develop two flavors, but I never did. The, I didn't come up with the full recipe. I uh, alpha and beta tested um, a couple of flavors for a few lines, and uh, the first run of the lines for mass production, I uh, I was sitting there shaking and making for hours huh. all the time. That's how you always man. Are you any good at eye contact? Yeah. Oh. I'm a pro. I learned from the best, Daddy. Eye contact. Yeah. I, I didn't I even know. I didn't even have to. I didn't have to. for you to be on camera tonight. It's gonna be insane. I mean, it is an age restricted show. What's up, Moffy? Uh, vaping Bum J. How you doing, Vaping Bum J? I know I saw uh, James Rivera out there earlier. What up, James? Newark. That's right. Lewis Knight's here. He's ready. He's ready for the jousts. He's ready to take down anybody. Anybody that comes his way. Uh, who? Anybody else rolling around out there that I didn't shout out? Socrates! Anybody? Anybody? Anybody needing their shout outs before I get before I get rocking? Because once we get to, once we get to rocking, there's no telling how, when the next time I'll turn around and start shouting people out again is. So make sure you get them in. There we go, Jeremy V. Jeremy V for victory because oh. must be in the state of New York because New York got themselves a nice victory this week. Yeah, for a couple yeah. weeks anyway. Hey, you know, you take anything you can get. Oh, yeah. Chevy Man, Goose Girl. What's up, Goose Hello. Girl, Leanna? Hey, yeah. Leanna. Uh, uh, annihilate your buds. What's up? Yeah, that's right. Beard Stroke. You better believe that. Always doing it. CS Blue. Voca. I do Voca's here. What up, Voca? Hey, Goose Girl. Goose Girl, you got jousted, yo. Shannon Marie. How you doing, Shannon? Simon Atherton. How you doing, Simon? Man, everybody's everybody's crawling out of the woodwork for this one. I like it. People want to see a little bit of recipe development. They just missed hash. That's it. That's all it was. They missed hash. They want to see that flying V. That's what they want to see. Yeah, right. <laughs> that is actually a signature series Washburn for Dimebag Daryl, and that was the last year that Washburn ever produced a Dime series uh, guitar. They all went back over to Dean. 
So that is the final production uh, of his Washburn uh, line right there. And uh, oh, okay. that was the year that he, um, two years prior to uh, his death. Oh. So, yeah. So that's why, that's why it hangs, because I must pay homage to the metal gods, and <laughs> uh, I love... I love Pantera. I love Damage Plan. I love Hell Yeah. I miss Dimebag's guitar. It, it, there's no, there's no guitarist like him. If you're a true original Cowboy from Hell Pantera fan, so you know, it brings me back to the older, older '80s thrash Metallica. Hence, we're wearing the old school throwback shirt. That's right, riding the uh, lightning. Yeah, exactly. And then I have the um, I have a limited release shirt for the Injustice for All, where they did it as um, uh, zombie two to uh, zombie tones. So it's uh, the the statue, the weights and measures statue, uh, is actually in earth tones, and all the lettering is in um, mute brown and neon green. I like the sound of it. Yeah, it's cool. I'll wear it next show. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, or in church. Two in two years when we see you again. Uh, <laughs> Wait a motherfucking cricket, Ash. Uh, I am currently actually inside. Uh, it's the porch is in construction mode, uh, being turned into a bar, actually. So uh, once I get that all finished up, I will actually be... Uh, Casting from the bar. Excellent. Yes. James Composey. Composey. David Maresca. How you doing, David? DTF out there. DTF. DTF. I do uh, have to give a huge shout out to DTF as well as Freshy um, for helping me get the supplies together. Um, you know, like. I wouldn't have known where to start for the flavors, and like I said, Lumi, I, 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 I'm sorry. Didn't mean to not include you. <laughs> Lumi, Lumi, I don't know that I know that I don't know that Lumi knows where she's at right now, so I'm not sure your no. apology is going anywhere. Right. Lumi looks a little. Lumi looks a little beat down. Was that a baby bottle you just drank out of? A water bottle. Oh, okay. okay. I was just. I was like. You want Speaking of baby bottle, baby I never got a drink. drink out of? Sippy cup. Yeah, bring me some sippy cups when you come to visit. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, Oregon band flavors now, too. Uh, One after another after another. But, I mean, we've got the precedent. We've got the precedent. To put... Uh, yeah, I mean, you got the... You got the, you got the hold... In t and now they're now everybody gets to go say their part finally, so in New York. So there's your precedent, everybody. So yeah. now you now you'll start seeing those lawsuits going through like Michigan and whatnot. I think uh, Michigan Michigan will probably be next, and then. Uh, but. Mass was shut down. Uh, the 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 judge is putting the uh, the restraining order into consideration. Uh, but it, it has not passed, and it is still uh, everything is still 100% pending in mass right now, and still banned. So, yeah, we still. have a, we have a we have a fight. Yeah, but I mean, with New York getting their getting their injunction slash restraining order slash whatever else we're calling it. Um, oh yeah, it's, uh, everybody else will fall in uh, fall in line yeah. and follow suit. And then. Uh, I mean, how many yeah. governors really want to get sued by the their constituents? I mean, none of them do, but I mean, there are. It's it's going to happen. Like I like I I I, I tweeted Mr. Inslee. Like I hope you like I hope you like uh, I hope you like lawsuits, and I I hope you like wasting money that you don't have. Right. Because this state is broke. Hey, governors don't care as, as long as they get that sweet Bloomberg freaking money towards their reelection fund. Ain't well, um, Inslee wants to be president. That's what he wants. We're we're slowly but surely finding that out. 
So if anybody sees Inslee and he sounds reasonable, his name's Jay Inslee, and he's gonna come. He's gonna come to your state. And he's gonna tell you about environmental concerns, and this is gonna be the only thing that he'll ever talk about is environmental concerns, because the rest of the time he's full of shit. There we go. Core hearing next Tuesday in Detroit, 2 p.m. Perfect. So yeah, it's happening, Good luck, everybody. Detroit. Yeah, the no, that's for the entire state of Michigan. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's interesting. It's interesting what's happening. It is all Bullshit. horse shit. You gotta say you gotta you gotta you gotta say it like Grim Green if you're gonna say it. Or shit. It it just makes me sick, and I've been telling all the governors this on Twitter. You know, eight percent of your kids are still smoking deadly combustible cigarettes, mm -hmm. and you're gonna complain about what it is now. Three to six percent of kids vaping. You know. Yeah. And it's, and the other thing about that survey, Addy Tooney, is they is they're going to say high school age kids. And that includes people, that includes kids who are over the age of 18 who are legal to be doing this stuff. Yeah. So they, they, they skew the numbers as hard as they can. In reality, oh, yeah. in reality, I doubt, I doubt, I doubt the real number is because I bet it, I bet it's three to 6% have tried within the last 30 days, not regularly used. I guarantee that's what it is. And it's just, you know, you're hanging out, your buddy's puffing on Julie. You're like, Hey dude, let me see that for a sec. You take a rip and you're like, all right, dude, that's not for yeah. me. Bam. I'm a vapor. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, according to the CDC and the FDA, you're a vapor. Although the CDC yeah. and the FDA have broken, I have, I'm not sure you've heard that, heard that Addy Tooney, because the CDC started putting out that it was illicit THC products, and the FDA didn't want to put that out, so they broke away from the F, from the uh, CDC. So there's internal drama within the government because the CD because the CD the CDC is finally piping the fuck up. Uh, because I, quite frankly, I think there should be a class action lawsuit against the media for one, and I think there should be a class. Act I don't. I doubt you could sue media, media outlets as a whole. I'm sure someone will. Someone will tell me all about that. But anybody, yeah. anybody, anybody who misrepresented vaping and and was putting out the improper information, like yeah. the CDC's putting out, the FDA hasn't stopped putting out their bullshit. Yeah. So I mean, doesn't that make them culpable? For not I putting out, not that. putting out, not putting out what, what's proper. Like the CDC, I, the CDC, the CDC itself should absolutely be under fire. Like they should be, they should be tearing the fucking walls down on these, on these health organizations. If my kid died because he was vaping on a THC cart, I'd be suing everybody I could. I'd be finding that shyster lawyer and the, going after them all. Oh, that was another thing. So anybody, if you go on Twitter, uh, Zamplebox has a bunch of the clips that they cut out of Jay Inslee's uh, press conference about uh, putting vape, about uh, fla about the flavor ban he wants put in place. And uh, there was a shop owner. Actually, there was two shop owners that were giving him shit the entire time. One of them got one of them got removed from the press conference. It was fantastic. Um, <laughs> but I mean, he got removed. He got he got removed for asking. Well, what about Public Health England? Like, why is it? Why are their rates different? You know, why they have ninety-five percent? They have a, they rate it as ninety-five percent safer, and it's supported by the government. Why are you doing this? So, it was it was pretty fantastic watching the dude, and then he, and then uh, one of the reps came out in the hall to talk to him, and he called him a liar right to his face. It's like you're a fucking liar. <laughs> You've lied to these people, and he did. All of them did. All of them lined their faces off, just like all the politicians are doing, just like the FDA is doing. The CDC is fessing up. So, I mean, if you if you lost if you lost a family member to this, I think you absolutely should be able to sue the CDC, right? It's a litigious society. We can sue, you know, we can sue whoever we want, right? They're the one. They're the ones who couldn't figure it out. A news outlet had to figure it out, and then they sat on the information. They sat on the information and, and didn't tell people what was going on. One of the one of the favorite articles that I've read is um, BMW recalls Toyota Supra because that's the world we live in now. Uh, it's a BMW motor. Yeah. In the Toyota yeah. Supra, and uh, it, because it's a drivetrain issue and it's a it's a motor issue, 
BMW actually has to recall the Supra. Uh, kind of back, like back in the day, uh, any of the times that the, um, the, the Pontiac Vibe had motor problems when it first came out, Toyota actually had to recall it because that 2.2 uh, Ecotec motor that was in the original all-wheel drive Vibes in the Chevy products was actually a Toyota motor. I it was but then you get Volkswagen who can't do shit about their fucking turbo diesels that they faked every bit of emissions data. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There is a lot uh, down about a mile and a half, two miles from my house in the old Weymouth Air Force Base. Uh, it is 560 yards. So three football fields, three and a half football fields lengthwise, and then stacked another row back this way of all recalled um, Volkswagens in New England. Holy crap. <laughs> and it's just, they can't do anything about it. These things are just sitting at, on this lot now. Oh my god. Uh, Fidalgo, no, I'm not into cars. I actually, uh, <laughs> I, I work in the industry. I was a mechanic for eight years. I rebuilt uh, starters and alternators for five years and then I got injured uh, and now I work in uh, wholesale for auto parts so um, I don't like cars I hate them I despise them but it is my career Amigos and Co which Amigo is that sneaking in here Randall not Randall Vandal there we go all right all right so Let's I've take... got my Nick set in the bottles, and we are ready to rock. Okay, so let me. I'm going to read your stash out to people. So right now, everybody, these are the flavors that Hesh has. Uh, Blueberry by Flavor West. Uh, Cake Batter V2 by Capella. Churro by Capella. Uh, Flavora Cream. Uh, Crunchy Captain Cereal uh, by TPA. Inaware Custard. Inaware Shisha Strawberry. Inaware Shisha Vanilla, Italian Lemon Sicily by Capella, Lemon Meringue Pie by Capella, Pound Cake by Flavora, Strawberry by Flavor Art, Strawberry Ripe by TPA, Sugar Cookie B2, Super Sweet by Capella, Sweet Cream by Capella, Vanilla Bean Ice Cream by Capella, Vanilla Cupcake by TPA, and Vanilla Pudding by Flavora. So that's what we're dealing with, everybody. That's what we're dealing with. Uh, I can share his stash link, actually. Yeah, I, asked, I, made it public. I made it public, so by all means, if anybody wants to... Uh... Go. Boom, need a, boom, I was a millisecond faster than me. Yeah. <sighs> you need an ELR password or account. I'll share it throughout the show, so if, if you guys aren't on um, ELR, go sign up. Um, cause ultimately, uh, I will be starting after tonight in working, uh, I will be working with Fresh Lumi, DTF, and hopefully Brother Addy to come up with a couple of recipes of my own, and I will definitely, um, uh, post up my first few recipes, and then I'm gonna start to go rogue and make up my own. Um, oh, so damn. by all means, sign up, uh, and let's mix together. Exactly. Exactly. How about, how about a nice uh, blueberry lemon meringue pie sugar cookie with a little custard in it? It's not a bad idea, Eddie Tooney. Yeah, that that sounds right up my uh, right up my alley. Cause uh, Blue Mon Chi, which is uh, one of Vape Girl Vixens, was a blueberry lemon meringue cheesecake with a sugar cookie crust. So mm. that's that's right in my wheelhouse. Okay. So let's put this together. All right. So we're gonna need blueberry. We need the lemon meringue. So Sugar I'm gonna, I'll set this thing to max VG. Let's go ahead and add a flavor here. Uh, so let's see here. So we're gonna we're doing blueberry by flavor West. Yes. Flavor West blueberry. There you are. Uh, so flavor West blueberry, somewhere between three and five. Depends on how much blueberry we want. Um, do you want a blueberry heavy or do you want a more lemon heavy? 
Um, I'm more of a lemon heavy. Okay. Uh, but I like a good solid blueberry. Well, flavor West blueberry is a it's it's a very sweet. It's pretty. It's pretty very pretty sweet, sweet. Fairly fairly artificial blueberry. So. Yeah. So we'll we'll keep it on the low side if it's got that yeah. candy uh, candy flavor. Let's do. I, I'm thinking. It's anywhere between three and four. What do you think in hash? What do you think in Lumi? Maybe we should get a Lumi number. I've already put in 2.72. You put 2.72 in? 2.72 it is. 2.72% of Flavor West Blueberry. Do you, do you have Flavor West? Do you have Flavor West Blueberry, Lumi? It popped up, so I think I do. I okay. just, I don't know. I'm going to be too thrilled about All right. it. So, lemon, lemon meringue pie. So for the idiot in me, uh, yeah. I gotta do it by the the syringe. Uh, it'll give you the it'll give you the number down below. Okay. So Don't worry about that. Go. Right right now we're just putting right now we're just figuring out where we want our flavors. Right. Right? So flavor yeah. one. Flavor one is blueberry flavor west. Uh, lemon meringue pie can go anywhere from. Well, we're gonna want it stronger, so anywhere anywhere from probably five to eight. Um, Oh, look at Lumi. She's got the freaking screen up and everything. Where are you? All right. Somewhere between five and eight, probably, for lemon meringue. Actually, it could go lower. It'll be a little bit smoother vape lower. Could go down to, could to, you could go down to three and a half. I'm saying somewhere between three and a half and five. That's where I'm calling it. Somewhere 4. between 4.25. it is, Hesh. Lemon meringue probably at four and a quarter. Uh, so Toonie was talking custard, so we want that Inawara custard. All right, um, Inawara custard. There we go. Custard, Inawara flavors. So Inawara custard in this mix, uh, it's my turn to call a number. I'm going to call one, one percent. Okay. And that's just going to add some extra richness and depth. The nice thing about Inawara custard for those that aren't, aren't aware of what that flavor is, it's a little bit on the dry side, so that's what you got to watch out for. Um, the Flavor West Blueberry and the Lemon Meringue Pie should compensate for it, theoretically. Um, we may do something about it if we need to on the other end of it. Um, we may add something like a half percent of Flavor or Cream or something like that. But Inaware Custard is really nice. It's not over, overly eggy. It's not overly, overly buttery. And it does not require a steep. That's the really nice thing about Inawara custard. Does not require a steep to vape and tastes like custard. So what it's doing here though is it's adding a little bit of extra richness. Adding a little bit of extra richness and that's what we're using it for. It's going to add it's going to add a little bit to that a little bit of that egg to the meringue. It's going to add a little bit of butter to the crust. So it's going to be it's going to add a little bit of extra creaminess to the vape overall help things blend a little bit. So that's why okay. that's why that's why I'm assuming I'm I'm sp I'm I'm digging into Addy Tooney's mind palace right now. I kicked a wall, Very and okay. I'm telling I'm telling him and, and I'm telling everybody why Addy Tooney said to add some custard. Um, did I cover everything, Addy Tooney, or or did custard just sound good? Oh, that no, you got it. You nailed okay. it, right? Okay. Plus, uh, I'm Irish as fuck, so a good custard always hits close to home. Inaware custard is fantastic. Uh, there's other custards that I think are are better, but for what it does, it's pretty it's pretty remarkable. Pretty remarkable. Uh, so we got our inaware custard at one. Next, we wanted some sugar cookie. Do we have sugar cookie? Sugar cookie V two. Okay, sugar cookie V two. Time to be careful. Uh, <laughs> Sugar Cookie V2, the thing about Sugar Cookie V2 is it has Sugar Cookie frosting. That's what you got to watch out for. Sugar Cookie V1 is just a sugar cookie. It doesn't have it it doesn't have a frosting. The Sugar Cookie V2 does have a bit of frosting to it. Right, and it's, um, it's almost like a royal icing, so it gives a little extra sweetness to it. Yeah, but the other thing you got to watch out for is it's going to it's going to add a waxy sensation. Ooh, to the vape. Um, I don't remember it doing it if we kept it low. And Sugar Cookie V2... I mean... If we keep it low, it'll just add sweetness and a little bit of sugar cookie texture. Could you 
could you ultimately substitute it with cake batter V2 to get the same kind of cake batter V2? We'll do we'll do something with cake batter V2 here in a little bit. Just I'll show I'll show you how that shit works. Um, because that's like the it's cake batter cake batter is like the uncooked set like it. If you bake a cake and the center is a little bit underdone compared to everything else, that's what cake that's what cake batter V2 is. So it works really it works really well in something I have in mind based on the flavors you've got. So but um, sugar we, cookie we said, we said one we said 1% on the Inuera custard, right? Yeah. Okay. And sugar cookie V2 I'm going to say somewhere it's got to be less than 2%. Because I know at two percent, two percent for sure, you're going to get, you're gonna get that, you're gonna get that frosting, and you're gonna get that waxy sensation at two. So it's got to be somewhere under two percent. Um, let's play it on the lower side of one and a half. Why don't we go with a uh, one point three percent? One point three, it is sugar cookie B two at one point three. If anybody can see my screen or the numbers by some miracle, yes. know that I don't have these flavors, so I'm improvising the Lumi way. Go for it. 1.3%. 1 1 I think that should be good. And let me look at your stash and see if there's anything else in, worth throwing in there, just to kind of give it some life somewhere. Um... We've already got the lemon to hype that blueberry. Because lemon and blueberry go together like peas and carrots, everybody, in case you didn't know. Those two particular flavors are just gonna just gonna make some magic. Um, you could sweeten it if you wanted, but I think it's gonna be pretty darn sweet anyway. With that Flavor West blueberry and the lemon meringue pie, I think it's gonna be fairly sweet. Are we gonna do 3.72 or 2.72? On the Flavor West blueberry? 2.72. Okay. Alright, let me gather flavors, everybody. I'll be back in a moment. Uh, Lumi, you're in charge. Entertain them. Entertain <laughs> them. So, I kind of zonked out. Were we doing anything after the sugar cookie, or are we dropping it after sugar cookie? I think uh, that's We're going to drop it after sugar cookie, see where it lands, and if we need to add anything to sweeten it up, we, we can add something after the fact. Exactly. Exact or rehash. Okay. All right, I see where we are at. All right. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. So I see exactly. Yeah, I'm not going to sit there and count fucking 90 drops of lemon meringue. Oh, come on. Gonna, yeah, no way. I'm not. Oh, no, no, thank you. I will pass. That's what I, see. That's why. That's what I. That's why I mentioned that hash. <laughs> like, sure, you can do drops if you want. Go for it, man. Can you can you switch that thumb? Oh, it is okay. It's there. Oh. Are we switching? Who's switching? Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, that different recipe is up. Oh, that's your recipe. Yeah. That's the Lumify I version. I don't have sugar cookie V2. And yeah, I don't either. I don't have um, custard. custard. I'm using Precious Quick Custard. That's been changed ever so slightly. Good call. I'm still having a really hard time looking at this blueberry by Flavor West because it's making me cringe. It's not, a bad, blueberry. It's not a bad blueberry at all. It might not be a bad blueberry, but it's not the best blueberry out there to be offered. So it still makes me cringe. So use the swaggies. Use BSOs. I'm thinking about it. So just do it. Just do it, Lumi. I, mean, I got the uh, straight VSO blueberry in the K fun. You still playing out, Ash? Huh? Still playing out? No, actually, uh, so the band that we had going last year, uh, we ran into a snag where um, the uh, drummer's 
father was not well in health, uh, and so he, he missed a lot. And then we were coming up on the winter, and he lived out in Western Mass, and he drove two hours to practice every day, so oh. it was, uh, like every Wednesday. So it was just getting a little too much for him, especially with his being sick and then his, uh, his girlfriend um, getting sick as well. Um, so we were going to look for another drummer, and then our lead guitarist was just like, well, let me, while we're waiting, I'm going to jam with a couple of other people. We'll come to find out that the drummer that he was jamming with was the drummer from our band. Uh, so we're like, yeah, okay, fuck you. And we just been, uh, but no, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually, uh, working and doing, um, doing scoring for radio spots and TV commercials, uh, with my <laughs> father-in-law now. So That's I'm cool. writing jingles and they're being played on the radio. That's kind of fun. Yeah. It's, 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 it's different. You know, it's, it's totally different from what I'm the norm. You know, so you're doing you're doing the mixing. Huh? No, I'm writing. I'm writing I, the jingles and doing all the mixing. Yeah, at the home studio. That's what I meant. Yeah, you're you're doing everything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he um he does the the he does all the final. He brings it over to uh his buddy's studio and they do all the uh final production work and he he does all the video editing and the the, the filming so. Can't really go wrong. Well, sounds and, like you're keeping pretty busy. Yeah, it's that, and that's the problem is I was that tied up with everything going on that uh, I honestly had no time for self. And um, well, that's going to keep your ass out of trouble. <laughs> I don't know. I think I got into a little bit more trouble than I wanted to. <laughs> Well, that's good. It's better to be busy than not be busy, right? Oh, yeah. There so it was um, 65 in the house when I came home today to turn the heat on. <laughs> uh, I have a window open and a fan going right now. So, Lumi, what have you been doing? Uh, I would say that it's not unauthorized mixing anymore. Lumi's cut loose and on her own now. What are you mixing this week? I think it's switched from unsupervised to impulsive mistakes. <laughs> unsupervised! <laughs> I've been honestly mixing a lot of one shots. Oh, good. Which I've ones? Been- the Mullenberry line that I that I oh had. right yeah did you have you gotten the um, Mixin' Vixens line no not yet their one shots are fantastic they are very good I got Rins in this tiny little uh, Notion Mac this eighteen three fifty. smells like a wear custard now. <laughs> it's not a bad thing, Ash. It's not no, a bad not at thing. all. Uh, yeah, so, I've got, the, the room is 60 degrees in here right now. Oh. It's gorgeous. I live, I live for, you give me between 48 degrees and 65, and I am in shorts for that whole period of time. You give me anything over 65 and humid, I'm fucking dead. And anything below uh, 48 t-shirt and jeans if it gets below 30 then I'll throw on a sweatshirt speaking I'm of fat cat minute. mixing speaking of fat cat mixing who's that <laughs> who's that helping me man tape on a bonna call me fat human oh she knows she is She's actually slimmed down quite a bit since we got here. Yeah, because she's got a kitty kitty competition. Oh, it's not even that. She can run and run and she runs. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. 
Like she'll just t she she just takes off tearing ass. Like it's party time, who man's. You know what's up. We're like, okay, go Vana. All right. How far are you along, Hesh? Are you done? I am putting in sugar cookie V2 as of right now. I'm putting it in right now, too. 0.39. I'm just now starting my mix, so I'll, I will mix my speed. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. You, you, you take your sweet time. Lemon meringue pie. Mm. I love lemon meringue pie. Woo, giving it a little, uh, Slurry down the bottom with the nicotine smells delightful. <laughs> Welcome to DIY, Hesh. <sighs> Where you start screaming at your mixes. You yeah. better, you better vape you, like you. You better taste good. <laughs> you better vape like you smell. You better vape <laughs> like you taste. I always swear at my bottles like that. Like you better. I'm just letting you know right now. Apparently, I haven't used anywhere custard since I moved. Interesting. That is a good one. My massive bottle of VG over here. Ah, uh, uh, going for that long pour, though. Vape like you smell. It, be I, it should be my company name. <laughs> you better vape like you smell. I'm just saying. It smells mighty fine, too. Okay. All right, now BG needs to be at... 3.19. So I was super tempted to get my uh, get my god damn it now I can't think of the fucking name of it. Jewelers use it to clean jewelry. It vibrates. Ultrasonic. Ultrasonic. Cleaner. Thank you. Uh, and put warm water in it, you know, and lay the you, bottle and warm it up and let it vibrate and do a warm bath steep. Works pretty well, actually. Yeah. Luke Luke says uh, Dave Bellows dropped a Paradise Cream recipe. ID10T? Yeah. He did drop a Paradise Cream recipe earlier. I saw him do it. I saw you do that ID10T. Well, that's the thing is like you sit there and you talk to you. You listen to Dave talk on the show, um, listen to him talk and note it. And he's like, you know what? I need to do that. And then later that week, he does it like he's he's like the anti me. Like I, I, I always say, you know what? That sounds really good. I'm going to do that later. And then I completely forget. And then you go for burritos. And then I go for burritos. You damn right. I'm going for burritos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Hesh, what we're doing is we're just warming the BG up. We're lowering that viscosity level so it all mixes nice and even. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I was tempted, half tempted to do the, the VG warm bath. Uh, yeah, the ultrasonic warm bath uh, to ultimately do that specifically. You better believe it, Rawlinson boy. Anytime oh, okay. we mix, we get a little, we get a little bit going on. Let's we'll see how dirty we take it. Kind of depends. This isn't, this isn't our typical, our typical uh, Tuesday night with Lumi where we expect to get as dirty as possible. But you never but know. After all that, you want me to shake too? Jesus, that's a nice workout. There we go. Yeah, that feels pretty good. I think we're ready. I think we're ready, Lumi. Are you ready? Lumi put blah as the name of the recipe. 
You gotta be careful nobody gets hurt because there's gonna be a guitar flying around in the pile. <laughs> Hopefully it's not uh, one of these two back here because those are uh, those are pretty expensive. <laughs> All right, so who's looking for a little... Who's looking for a little eye contact? A little zippy, a little zippy eye contact. What's up, zippy? How you doing, girl? How you doing, girl? So, I've got my warm BG. Addy Tooney's got a naked pile of people. What do you say, you and me? Dive in. I I can go ahead first. You can go ass first. It'll be fantastic. Hesh is really getting into that. Reminds me of that first time this Brian started shaking a bottle. He's like, he's like, this is what I get for There's, so, there's something to rewarding party. about this fresh out three. I'm like, yeah. You know, you get to you get to get off and get a get a tasty e liquid at the end of it too. So yeah, naked naked pile, there, naked pile. Is, I mean, is that a is that a proper first date, Addy Tooney? Addy Tooney, is that a proper first date, like a naked pile of people covered in VG? Yeah, you have to feel those first dates out sometimes. That's true. Uh, zippy, I mean, it is zippy, zippy. I think zippy would probably be down for for a pretty good uh, for a pretty good. Uh, you know, just like cannonball, cannonball ass first into the pile of naked people, and then just you know whatever ha whatever happens is whatever happens. <clears throat> and sometimes you you know you share a towel at the end, share a towel at the end. Giz, <laughs> I see I showed up at the wrong time. <laughs> Perfect timing, Gizzard Stu. Perfect timing. <laughs> there we go. It looks pretty well broken up. So, Hesh, what? Yeah, you want you want a lot, a lot, a lot of ball. Yeah, oh, yeah that's that, perfect. That micro bubbles up in That's that. perfect. Now, here's a here's the real here's the real test, Hesh. Put a drop on your knuckle, just like that. It's called the knuckle test. Uh huh. Lick that thing. That's pretty good. I'm vaping well, that right cool. now. <laughs> wow. Man. Vape like vape like you taste. Yeah, you better vape like you taste. It might take a couple days for it to come around. Just to, I think the sugar cookie might slow it down, but I mean the rest of it. What's up, Frank? Let me take my tank off of my. Uh... She's actually pretty close. She's actually pretty close. Now what? Hesh might want, might be a little bit of sweetener. And if it, for anybody that's looking to sweeten this particular recipe, I'd probably recommend super sweet. I think the acidic, I think the uh, extra acid in there would go a little, little, would go a little to help push the blueberry and the lemon. <laughs> well, I did a fresh build and I had nothing on my cotton. So give me a moment. Perfect. Kevin K, Alola. Alola. Alola, my friend, as they say in Pokemon. Oh, good point, Rollinson boy. Everybody share baby wipes. Who brought the baby wipes? <laughs> Anytime I go on vacation, I always have a thing of flushable baby wipes with me. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not messing around. You got to. And if you don't have them, if you don't prepack them, you just stop and get a travel size. Mm-hmm. Got to make sure they're flushable, though. Those are the bio, bio, the super biodegradable right. ones. Oh, yeah. I've been sharing your link around, Fresh, for people to learn DIY. I appreciate that, Addy Tune. There have been some new faces in the crowd. Hopefully we didn't scare them away completely with, uh, with <laughs> eye contact. contact. Oh, that smells gorgeous. Yeah. Like Natalie. I said, the, sh the sugar, the sugar cookie's not quite there. Natalie. I still need to learn that the Natalie Portman rap, so that I can rap. Some, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up the lyrics real quick, <laughs> so I can rap some at her. Yeah, I'm still getting uh, that uber fresh cotton flavor. <laughs> Natalie Portman rap lyrics. Plus, I'm also not trying to cloud out this room because my wife could be home anywhere from now till midnight till 2 a.m. Yeah, don't get yelled at. Yeah. Mm. 
Wow. Oh, there we go. Natalie! Don't test me when I'm crazy off that airplane, Lou. <laughs> All right, so I'm definitely getting the the light lemon. I'm getting that that a bit of the blueberry right off the bat and the lemon off the bat. Mm -hmm. I got like this mute flavor in the background, which I'm thinking is the sugar cookie. It's the sugar cookie hasn't steeped yet. So you're probably looking about five days for that. But that should come together quite nicely. That should come together quite nicely. Well, we could, it. we could actually, we could actually take the lemon and the blueberry up higher, but I, yeah, no, no, I, I think, I think I want to let it do its work, its magic. Um, so hash, you, you take a magic marker, and you write right on the bottle, you know what, what recipe it is, and and then if you have a. Um, a thing of scotch tape around, you cover the magic marker up with a piece of scotch tape. Yeah, I got none of that here. Okay. What about electrical tape? <laughs> um, and, and, and you put it, and you put, and you put a date on it. But I'm just gonna set that one aside. You could you use color tape, Lumi. Color and electrical tape, and then magic marker on that. I was thinking masking tape. It's just electrical tape came out instead. But what I do if I can't find my masking tape, I'll actually write the recipe on the bottom of the bottle. That way there it's less likely to smear when I'm holding it and taking the cap on and off. True. Smart thinking. And Mr. Lumi will walk in like, that's a blank bottle. I don't know if I want that one. He'll move along. Yeah. <laughs> He's starting to learn that he's got to pick up and look at the bottoms of them. Because I learned the hard way when you put the magic marker on the bottle itself and then if you were to say chest steep it you get the backwards bb cheese tattooed on your breasts mm. and then he's like where's the blueberry cheesecake pretty much your strawberry cheesecake like i end up ruining it for myself every time that's true shack you could just buy a 12 dollar label maker that's right. Everybody go give to the Vapor Eye Fund. If we haven't said that enough tonight, it's the only link in the description. And it's going to be the only link in the description until that gets filled. So, Rye deserves, Rye deserves the best. Yeah, I was, I was hitting my, uh, my Rye Mac pretty hard tonight when I got home. That is a beauty. Been using my drip kit that you sent me. Nice, Lumi's. The trinity glass. You been working on lathe at all? Um, a little bit. It's it's been a little bit of a struggle. I've been having really bad arm tremors, and so uh, I had a little bit of a scare with one of the tools. So I'm kind of waiting for the arm tremors to go away. The tool got a little too close to the, um, to the end of it. I can't even, the chalk, there we go. And it just jammed it right into the palm of my hand. All right. Uh. Well, I've saved it. I saved it too. All right, let's move on. Let's do something else. Uh, let's be basic bitches, shall we? <laughs> Strawberry cream. Yay. I know you're saying yay, but keep that lemon meringue pie out, my friend. <laughs> okay. Today's the fourth, correct? Yes. Yep. All right. So I will let that steep. I will let Paul's blue balls steep Paul's, for five days. Paul's blue balls. Steeped oh, five oh, days. Yeah. Deepen for five days. All right. So, what type of strawberry do you like? BSL. 
Besides VSO, let me. And, and hash. Do you like a real strawberry? Do you like a more realistic strawberry? Do you like in your you strawberries and cream? Do you like a. Juicy. Well, all right. So I, I bounce between strawberry flavors. Currently, right now, uh, what I have in my tank um, is a strawberry watermelon sour candy. So that's a candy so strawberry. This is a that's candy a strawberry. Okay. And I dig it because they, it's, a, it's more of the watermelon sour candies with a hint of strawberry. The strawberry is not like the most prominent, but it's there. But the sour note gives that strawberry that more of a ripe flavor. Um, but my favorite, uh, again, Vape Girl Vixens was a um, was a fresh strawberry vape. What's a fresh strawberry? Okay. Um, let's see. So, uh, shit. What was the one from? Um, Isig Barn, the Voodoo Vapes, um, that I really fucking, I pushed all the time and I loved. And it tasted like grandma's little strawberry candies and cream. Ah, oh, okay. So you remember the, the, the little strawberry candies mm -hmm. that look like the strawberries? Okay, yeah. we got gotcha. you. Yeah. So it's something I, like a little sweeter on the strawberry side. Uh, I, I mean, a vine ripe strawberry is always amazing with cream. Let's go uh, shisha strawberry. Okay, hold on. Let me, I got I got to start a new recipe. All right, we're gonna do another sixty mil. Cause that's what I have it set for. Uh, three. And he does have some red touch. That's what I'm thinking. Because the, the red touch is going to fill out. Because shisha is a very, very nice artificial strawberry. And the uh, red touch is going to fill it out perfectly. Thank you, Ryan. Ryan's. Ryan, hitting it hard. Hitting it hard. What's up, Graham? Graham. All right, Graham. so. So I so I've got lemon right now. I've got lemon meringue pie at two. Uh, hold on. All right. So lemon meringue pie capella at two percent. At two percent. Okay. I've got the shisha strawberry at two point five, and I've got the red touch at. I think. I think two point five is going to be good there too. The red touch. Red touch. Uh, flavor art strawberry. Okay. Uh, flavor art. Uh, flavor art. Okay. Flavor, flavor art strawberry. Now, uh, we've already got that inaware custard out. Let's do a little bit of that inaware custard. So what? What was the red touch? Two point five as well. Okay. Let's do a little bit of that inaware custard again at one. Custard in aware flavors. Do that at one. That's okay. gonna give us a that's gonna give us a nice rich vanilla cream type flavor. Um Lumi, what are you thinking? Where else should we go? A little flavor of cream oh, sorry. Yeah, Addy Tooney, a flavor of cream is a wonderful idea. I mean I don't have in aware um custard, so I'm gonna have to build my own cream. Go for it. Do you have the shisha strawberry and the red touch? I actually just bought the shisha strawberry. That's the only reason why I'm not arguing about using these. <laughs> it's a nice straw. It's a very nice artificial strawberry, Lemmy. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, so flavor or cream? Yeah, fl let's do some flavor or cream at one. This is, here's a light. Here's a here's a lesson for you, Hash. There is no recipe in the world that has ever been worse. For putting one percent of flavor or cream into it, for sure. There has never, no recipe has ever gotten worse for doing that. And so we've got that. We've got that. Um, let me look at Hesh's stash here. See what else. So I'm kind of divided here. I'm going to let the audience decide. Should we use cap sweet cream or should we use cap vanilla ice cream? It's vanilla bean ice cream. Same, same. <laughs> or they, only, they, they, only, they only make the one. 
<laughs> way more vanilla pudding to give it a little bit thicker richiness. I don't know. I that would be better in a custard. The vanilla pudding would be better in a custard rather than just a straight cream. Uh, I've got I've got two for Vbic, three for Vbic. Vbic, it is. Vanilla bean ice cream, it is. Okay, vanilla bean ice cream, cream, custard, lemon meringue, red touch, and a shisha strawberry. Capella's vanilla ice cream. Um, I'm gonna. D I'm gonna leave right where the median percentage says it at two percent. I think two's, I think two is gonna be really good. I'm gonna put these two flavors up. Oh, so maybe Jay Inslee tweeted me back. I'm sure he did. <laughs> Stop tweeting me, Fresh Three. Never. You can't make me. Nah, 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 boo, boo. I do what I want. You ever get any feedback from the um, tobacco MSA payouts for what they put no, back they, in? No, they didn't answer me. Yeah, I've not got an answer either from yeah. any of them. It's our right to know. Red Touch and PQRS. Strawberry should be right on top. I don't have the shisha strawberry. What? I know it. What type of madness is that adding to me? Uh, yeah. you, juicy. Juicy strawberry. I love me some juicy. Or you could use jungle flavor sweet. Jungle flavor sweet is excellent. If you have that. That'd go really nicely in that. So I'm going to start with my shisha. Start with my shisha, y'all. All right. Lemon meringue pie done. <clears throat> mm. Shisha. Shisha strawberry, 0.75. Oh, that shisha strawberry smells amazing. Just wait till you open that red touch. Yeah, you're gonna wanna drink it, but don't. <laughs> the F.A. Strawberry is something else. I just love the, oh, it's like, it's like opening a strawberry field in your, in your, in yep. your home. <laughs> Yum. I love that. I love that strawberry. I, that was one of the first strawberries I ever bought. And thank God. Thank God. Because I remember you were talking TFA strawberry. I believe that, Etunia. I was like, have you tried this flavor art strawberry? It's a little more expensive, but man, that's good. You know, when I started mixing, there wasn't a whole lot of... Uh whole lot of stuff going around <clears throat> not everybody was sharing everything it's a bunch of bullshit oh that's dangerous do you use shisha at 2.5 yes okay shisha and red touch were both at 2.5 you could use vso at 2.5 if you wanted in there i'm just saying if you felt like it lumi <laughs> so my vbic is going to. I can let it slide every once in a while that we're not using red touch as long as it, as long as it doesn't become a regular. Ooh, a strawberry feels forever. That's right, Ronson boy. It's a great tune. Not my favorite Beatles tune, but my favorite Beatles tune is this acoustic version of "Happiness Is a Warm Gun." I heard. I've only heard it a couple times, but man. 
Really good. So. Oh man, <laughs> you're right, Addy. Ooh. So hash the re there's a couple things we did in this recipe that are they're very basic to mixing and I'm sure you're aware of them but um, I'll explain for those folks who heard this who or for who've never seen heard, seen or heard any of this stuff. Um, so we added lemon meringue pie to this strawberries and cream. Um, to it's like it's like squeezing squeezing lemon over the top of another fruit. It brightens it up. It makes it taste better. It's like it's like taking honeydew and squeezing a lime over the top of it. It brightens that fruit flavor up. It helps those it helps those berry flavors stand out against creams. Creams have a tendency to kind of mellow things out and blend them together. And so what you want to do is find something like a like a like a citrus flavor or like a peach flavor or an apple flavor. Apple flavors actually work really well with strawberries too. And you want to add them at a lower percentage to where the strawberry is going to go over the top of them. So the lemon right. meringue pie, we might still taste a little bit of lemon in it, but it's not going to be a bad thing because cap lemon meringue pie is delicious. Um, but it's really going to help brighten that strawberry up. It's going to add to the cream. Um, and it's also going to add a little bit of a bakery note in the background, which is actually quite pleasant on a lot of your uh, fruits and creams fruit and cream flavors um, and then we layered we did we did a layer of strawberries so what we did is we added two strawberries together for those that have never never heard of layering before you add two flavors together to come up with the flavor that you want in the end so we used the shisha strawberry and this and the strawberry red touch to come up with it's going to be a fairly artificial but it's going to be a re, it's going to be a re, really nicely rounded strawberry and Taking a whiff off that, it smells pretty darn good. Uh, and then we also layered up for creams. Uh, we did a custard, we did a cream, and we did a vanilla bean ice cream along with the meringue that we're going to get out of the lemon meringue pie. Um, so this is this is a recipe where it's the sum of its parts are going to be delicious. Oh, right. Yeah, I mean, I can I can I can see where layering. Uh, layering citrus over uh, a berry to complement it from muting. Yeah. Definitely. And then, I mean, flavor cream is just, it's like, uh, it's it tastes like half and half. So it's not the sweetest cream, and I know a lot of people really like a nice sweet cream to go with that sweet fruit. Um, that's, where the vanilla, that's where that vanilla bean ice cream comes in. Um, that's the innerware custard is not particularly sweet. It's it's gonna add some nice richness to this in the back, um, but we'll get plenty of sweetness out of pretty much everything else that we've got going here. Lemon meringue pie is sweet. Shisha strawberry and red touch are both very sweet. Um, they're also all very very juicy fruits. Rin, hi Rin, I'm watching. I'm watching. I know you're out there. I'm not saying the M word. Um, so that'll that'll help that'll help with that in that inherent dryness that is in uh, in a wear custard. So, just by just taking a whiff off this thing, it smells pretty darn pretty darn fa fa fabulous. Um, so this one hash is going to hit its prime in about three days. Okay. It should probably be pretty darn good off the shake, but the strawberries are really going to start banging in about three days, and that's just a general rule for once again for everybody out there. Um, I don't know of a strawberry that doesn't take about three days to really hit prime flavor. Uh, someone correct me out there. I would love to hear of a strawberry flavor that, a strawberry flavor, uh, that doesn't take three days. You're contagious, Rin. Uh-oh. That long pour, though. That long pour, though. I love long pour. I'm already heating that BG up. <laughs> strawberry gummy Recap. candy. Strawberry gummy candy still takes a couple days. Uh, BSO strawberry still takes a couple days to, to really warm into what it's going to be. Like strawberry gummy candy is absolutely lovely right away, but it gets so much better after a couple days. Like this is going to, this, this mix right here is going to be really tasty. It's going to be way tastier in a couple days. One on one strawberry ripe. Ah. One on one strawberry ripe takes a couple days. 
It's got it's got it can be a little bit overly green for the first couple days. VSO is good. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with the strawberries off the shake. Most of the time, they're they're usually really nice. Like the like flavor the flavor art strawberry that red touch is absolutely outstanding off the absolutely outstanding off the shake. But it gets it gets so much better. Like all the strawberries get so much better after just a couple days. That's all it is. Just leave them alone. Just take your bottle, put it in the dark by itself. Let it think about what it's done. When it comes out, it's a way better mix. Right? That's what parents putting you in the corner that's what's supposed to happen you're supposed to think about what you did and come out of it a better person in the end uh i can post it later luke uh luke actually most of these are going to be on hesha's page on hesha's uh yeah i have them as uh private as of right now but i will share them uh public once i'm closer to the end oh the there we go someone finally called one CS Baloo. Uh, that's Hesha's public stash. You can you can find his stash. That's probably where it's going to be. Uh, most of these are probably going to wind up. I'm I am saving them privately. Um, if they come out if they come out good, I'm totally taking credit for them. But there's a strawberry that doesn't require steep Alpine strawberry. <laughs> I thought Alpine strawberry comes it kicks it it kicks in the door and just stays being what it is. Like. You put more than one drop of me in your mix. You're an idiot. <laughs> Just like that. All right, I'm all, I'm all warmed yeah, up. Got, ready. I've already got bubbles forming too. So yeah, bubbles, nice. Who, who's out there? CS Blue, you get a little eye contact for getting it right. For getting it right. <clears throat> Flavor rush strawberry kiwi. Good point. Graham, I think that has more to do with that lovely candy kiwi that you're pouring all over yourself as you jump into the naked pile with me, brother. What's happening? What's happening? I already got Zippy. I already got Zippy in there. Come on, Graham. Get them pants off, brother. It's time to time to get penetrated, my friend. Just jump in that pile and and aim for the aim for the aim for the aim for the most erect landing spot you can find, Graham. <laughs> I should get an old TVC over there. I know he's getting he's get well. I mean, TVC would be talking about like the horrible things his mother did to him as a child while he was <laughs> yeah, exactly. while he was mixing. <laughs> and some bestiality, maybe. Yeah, she she, she touched me and the dog in our no no parts, like as as we were watching Saturday morning cartoons when I was six. Uh, by the way, TV uh, Mama TVC, I know you never did that. Brian was making things up. Mama, T <laughs> Mama TVC is lovely. She's a lovely woman. She came in, she saw the naked pile, and she's like, I'm about to say no, but Addie Tooney's over there making art, so you guys keep what you're doing. Have fun. And she left. Giz, there's no getting away from this. There is no getting... Giz, you've been my friend for how long now? There is no getting away from my contact. Yeah, and Addie is still in frame. He hasn't it's, gotten the... It's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. Fuck it Friday with Addie Tooney. <laughs> All right, let's give this a knuckle test. Nice yeah. and bubbly. Nice and bubbly. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. That's what I'm oh. talking about. Now we're going to give that a vape and see where she's at. <laughs> right. Nice rich cream. Strawberry's a little on the muted side, but that's what you expect. That's what you expect for three days. I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna call this recipe three days in the pile with Graham. Lumi, you make any more cupcake uh, Addy holders? last one that I made was a donut. I'm to the point now where I have to sell off my supply to start making more because I am out of resin. Oh, I like the donut. 
Oh, I'm calling it three days in the pile with graham milk. <laughs> since every uh, since uh, since every since since uh, every strawberries and cream has to be some sort of milk, this is three days in the pile with graham milk. It's a it's a stinky, horrible place. You probably got cocaine in your system somehow, and even though you've been clean and sober for a long time, but I mean that's just how a party with graham goes. This one, I, this one, I, this one, I actually think I will release publicly, just because it's pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good off the. Sh it's pretty darn good off the shake. Like I said, the strawberry's a little muted, but it's gonna come along. Yeah, Frank, uh, VG can go bad. I haven't had any go bad, but it can. Yes. Yeah, take a little. Yeah, take a little sniff. It shouldn't smell like much, really. If it smells musty at all, yeah, dump it. Yeah, I can see this. Uh... <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna taste, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna taste gonna really similar to what it did on the knuckle in about three days. Wow, I caught that one with my slipper. <laughs> I'm wearing slippers and shorts, by the way, everybody, in case, you're, in case you were curious. If you didn't see me walk out of the room earlier, just letting you know, I'm wearing slippers and shorts. How's Jack doing, Freshy D? Uh, I think we're both psyched for burritos tonight. Um, cool. Heard her back a couple days ago, but she's been she's been trooping along, doing Jack's stuff. Um, Good. My little my little uh, robot vacuum has come in quite handy when, when Jax gets hurt. You just turn the robot vacuum on, and it just cleans the whole place up. Nice. We were calling her Roby, and now we call her Margot Roby. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy a Harley Quinn thing for for it, and tape it to the top of the. I like tape it. at the top of the robot vacuum. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. on the top of it and start sending beverages back and forth. Like a little mini ba plastic baseball bat. Oh yeah, just a little baseball bat, and as it like swings around corners, like you'll just take one in the ankle, like "ow, you little bastard." That's nice, though. Hmm. Now we got to think of something for Hesh to vape right now. Like this is the this is the fun of DIY Hesh. Is we got a how much time we got left, Addy Tooney? 15, 15 minutes. Fifteen minutes. What could we do quick? Ooh, I know. I know. Uh, we're gonna do a three ingredient cinnamon custard that's gonna be shake and vape, mofos. You like cinnamon custard, right, Hesh? Nice and cinnamon. nice and warm this time of year. Yeah. All right. I am going to do a 30 mil of that. Okay. So we're going to create a rest. Cream. <laughs> What's that? I named that one Bury It In Her Cream. Fantastic. See, now you're getting in the spirit of DIY hash. Oh, I've always. Eee, that would be. Um, dog. That would be two mil. Of Nick for 30, 30 mils, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. For your 48 yeah. milligram, yes. Yeah. Oh, B Dog's getting Buster Bars at Dairy Queen. Son of a gun. Yeah. <laughs> I love Peanut Buster Parfaits. Oh. That, used to, that was like when I was a kid, that was the ultimate treat. Like you could get like the 50 cent Sunday. Like that was like that was fine. Mom was okay, was perfectly fine. But if you were really good, you could get that $2 Peanut Buster Parfait. And now it's like six bucks. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, we're not done yet, Zippy. We got one more. We got one more trip into the pile. We're not done yet, girl. Yeah, we're getting the baby wipes ready. For this I, I, I ride bicycle everywhere. I've got stamina for days, Zippy. We need to get back in this pile. <laughs> so, Custard by Inawera. Okay. Custard by Inawera. We're going to do it 2%. So this is a little bit higher than we've used it before. 
Uh, next, we're going to use that churro of yours. All right, let me uh, ba -ba, max VG or eight. Are the Buster Bars butterscotch? I just right, think so, they're peanut butter fairy. So it's in a wear of custard for two percent. Yep. Okay. Oh, we're doing a three. Oh, we're doing a three, two, one, and we didn't even mean to do it. Son <laughs> of a bitch, Hash. All right. So the churro. Churro is going to be at three. Okay. <clears throat> That's right, BT Cruiser, or it's or it's my shake and bake, or it's my shake and bake custard, one of the two. But this is a three, two, one, and then um, cream by Flavora. Cream by Flavora at one percent, and that's gonna that's gonna take care of the inherent dryness in Inawera custard. So let me go grab my cream and my churro, and pet my kitty. Right behind it. Hey, pretty lady. Hey, pretty lady. All right. You must be sleepy. Cost You're being real nice to me. She's not in here. She's looking around for Padme. Padme's not in here, Vana. She's not in here. It's just us. Are they getting along okay now? Oh, as well as I think they're ever going to. Which is to say, I don't, you know, Ivana can be, Ivana can be a little bit of a bitch. Um, <laughs> let's all be on, let's all, let's all be honest about this. Uh, she might, you know, try and murder something later. Namely me. Capture yeah. your leg. And capture her. Where is my churro? Serial 27, there you are, Serial 27, you a-hole. <laughs> be one of the last flavors I grab, like always. Hey, double apple. Yum. And green apple hard candy. Son of a bitch, there's some tasty flavors over here, Capella. Silver lime biscuit, that's a good one too. Cap apple pie. Like if you want to share, if you want an apple pie that you can just mix by itself, there you go. A really, really nice one. Cap creamy yogurt. That's a, that's a good one too. Son of a gun, fresh over here. Custard freaking must have got mixed in with something else. Darn it. Then I what? I will do. We'll get the premium. We broke the premium out. Ain't nothing wrong with premium. Uh -huh. Premium's delightful. Eleven minutes. I'm moving, Andy Junior. I'm moving. <laughs> three, two, one. You said that's gonna be a three, two, one. Yeah. Cheddar cheese. No, thank you. I like Luby's trick about popping them caps off. 
with the top. Works pretty good, huh? I can't take all the credit. Adam Polarchik's taught me that. 2030. using my needle nose and I noticed that I was slowly destroying the bottle so Adam just told me to take the cap don't screw it on make sure you get a little bit of a grip and just flip it yeah that's a great trick yeah it is 7 21 churro <laughs> and this one and this one screwed me up last time with sure I don't I think it has before fresh here thanks Ash okay, you gotta grab it yeah. you, grab it I'm trying Ash I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying so hard I can't do it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here's me with 15 flavors, there's fresh with over 1,500 flavors. That's the problem. Did I have that flavor out for something else? I don't think so. Where else would I have put it? Oh, I know what I did. Son of a bitch. I know where it's at. I'm sorry. Oh, there it was. I was working on something and it was in Flavor West. Cause I'm a bad I'm a bad organizer. Sorry guys. Okay. Did you already get a mixed hash? You suck. Yep. How do you clean your syringes that quick? Yeah? Are you just using a shit ton of syringes or are you just magically cleaning them in between each flavor extract? No, just different tips. Very, very quick with it. Yeah. Yeah, I had a pile of blunt tips out and just a quick twist. Catching up so fast, I promise. Yeah, so next uh next purchase is a scale. <laughs> Scales are so much easier. Uh nice. scale and uh about another fifteen bottles of flavor. And another I'm gonna get a couple of gallons of uh VG. What are we calling this one? BSOs on that. Three two one, one three two one cinnamon custard. That'll get Emily's attention. Yeah, that smells pretty solid. Just happen to have the skull handy so I can pull my atomizer apart. They are mighty handy, Eddie Tooney. These Lumi skulls. Fresh is working up a collection of them. He's got three now. I love that blueberry donut. Mary Beth is about to have two. Nice. Oh my god, that's awesome. Nice work, Lumi. Oh, she's gonna love that. <laughs> I love Mary Beth so much. Oh, thanks, Red Wagon. Shit, Ryan, I appreciate that. I will definitely get you on the book of face.
I'm sorry I had to do that to your bottle, but I had to get that VG in there in a hurry. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to work. That's going to be all right. Get that on there. Night, Fidalgo. Night, Fidalgo. Hashtag Loomy Skulls. That's right, Adrian Daniels. That's right, Loomy Skulls. All right, back to that pile, Zip, Zippy. Who, who are you dragging in there with us, Zippy? Who are you grabbing? Your choice. Your choice of your choice of victims. Drag them into drag them drag them into Addy Tooney's naked, naked artwork pile. I think I think Goose um, Goose Girl needs a little shoulder rub because she's been hitting it hard on the Twitter. She has. Like, oh crazy. man, so. Oh, a little bit of shoulder rub action? It's been a while since we had a little bit of shoulder rub action. Oh, Zippy's trying to drag. Addy Tooney's taking pictures of the pile. We can't get Addy Tooney into the pile. Zippy, I hate to break that to you. So we'll, we'll work Goose Girl's shoulders for a little bit. What do we say? Lumi, you want in on a little uh, Goose Girl shoulder action? I've got my warm BG. I can get the right shoulder. You can get the left shoulder. A little bit of, a little bit of sensual rubbing. I'm, Hesh, I'm gonna Hesh is a, Hesh is working those thighs. You can see it. You can see it in his heart. He's working those. He's working those thighs hard with his warm bottle of VG Goose Girl. I'm good at them foot rubs, fresh old three. Addy Tooney's, Addy Tooney's got his camera and he's taking pictures of your feet, Goose Girl. Did you hear him say it? <laughs> taking pictures of your feet. You know, for each their, to each their own. To each their own, Addy Tooney. I don't judge. Right. I don't judge. Whatever happens, whatever happens on a Saturday evening, that's what happens. It's what make me a bad person? It doesn't. It does not make you a bad person. I bet I bet some of the best people in the world love feet. Some of the best. I, I know one of the absolute best. He absolutely loved feet. Yep. Right. So happens to be my background. Those stands are awesome, my peeps. You should you should look into getting one. He has one. First person from Canada to order a loomy stand. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. I knew that churro was going to work. Because at, th at 3%. That churro. It's that churro's just a, popping out. Like. It's got just a little bit of bakery cinnamon and just that there, like there's a hint of a red hot in the background. That's kind of what I... But then you get that nice, that nice rich custard, that nice rich custard with the cream. But mostly the, but the the cream and the custard are just that delivery for that nice, that nice rich bakery cinnamon. And off a sh off a shake with those particular flavors, you don't have to worry about it doing anything else. This is what it's going to taste like. So Ooh, that's there. Cool. I like that. Three to one cinnamon custard. So and what did you make cake. over there, Loomy Things? Um, the carrot cake. I fucked around with it just a little bit. What are you thinking? Um, I'm still debating on it. I've never really touched the carrot cake, so I'm going to see how it steeps out. But I did carrot cake, buttercream frosting, vanilla custard cheesecake, and butter pecan. Butter pecan. Shouldn't it be walnut? Or is what butter pecan just what you had? That's just what I had and I really like butter pecan. Three, two, one, Cinetard. Cinetard. I like it. Cinetard. So the it's good with the uh, custard premium premium as well. Heck yeah, Eddie Tooney. Custard premium at two percent with that, that's just gonna be absolutely lovely. Dimlin! What's up, Dimlin? And then, I mean, if someone's pinching in there, Zippy, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta just got, you just gotta kind of roll with the pinches, if you will, roll with them pinches. You pinch right back, and then you put your, you put your finger right in their butt. Just show them what's up. If there's not already something else in there, it is, it is an Addy Tooney naked pile. That's all I'm saying. 
So DeMillan, uh, your uh, macaroon turned out nice after six days. And there you go. There's there is uh, three days in the pile with graham milk. Everybody, there's that recipe, and then it'll take just a few minutes, and we are right on Tommy's time. So, we're gonna strongly recommend that everybody goes and hangs out with uh, Tommy Vapors on this fine evening. Unfortunately, this is one of the Saturdays that I do have to work, so I will be heading to bed after the show tonight. Darn it. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd pop over there. Yeah, Tommy's a good cat. Tommy's a good oh, cat. Tommy. Always runs Tommy. great shows. He's he's family to me. Yeah, just a great um, dude. You know, both live in New England. Both have Crohn's disease. <laughs> All right, so while that's saving, let's roll around the room real quick. Hesh! Yes, you got to go to bed, man. Say, say your nighty nights. Uh, yeah. No, thanks, guys. I greatly appreciate the help. Um, you know, I these so far, from what I can tell, that these are going to be um, yeah. fairly ADV. So that is a shark. That would be called a shark. Thank you, Tommy. Yeah, awesome, Tommy. Yeah. That would be called. That would be a shark. A shark. Okay. Well. I'm You're not welcome. sure. I'm sorry you don't like our recipes, Tommy Vapors. All right, that is a a shark. That um, is a shark. I appreciate it. Uh, I will definitely be using these recipes and uh, expanding. You know, especially this uh, the 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 cinnamon um, custard. Yeah. Um, just the shaken vape is amazing, and I have a. a It'll get richer. For it. It'll get richer. So it's, a good, it's a good base. It's yeah. definitely a good base. Um, and I can already tell you that the strawberries and cream will, is going to be a, a, a huge hit. Um, and then we will see how the uh, if if the blueberry lemon meringue sugar cookie it plays steal. out as, as 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 well as I think it's going to. So I think it'll work quite awesome. nicely here in a couple days. So. I greatly appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Thank you for showing me the ropes uh, and just, getting me. Just give you an idea how easy it can be. Right? Yeah, then I mean, you, you got you've got what you've got 150 mils of liquid. Took it. Took we we probably spent about 30 grand total minutes of mixing. That's enough liquid to go through a week. Oh yeah, easily. 30 minutes. 30 minutes of your week, everybody. And you can vape. And you can. And if it's all one recipe, if you just like one recipe, if you've got a good ADV. Take you like ten. Yep. Make a big bottle. Make big bottles. Yep. And then just vape it all week. So yeah. Exactly. And this yeah, is, this so. this was pretty beginner DIY for anybody that was anybody that's new. You know, we didn't go over what was our most complicated recipe, like five flavors. So five flavors. Yeah. yeah. That was the strawberries and cream. That, that was, was just all the layers. So. You know. Good awesome. DIY. So, any anything to push, Ash? Are you pushing anything tonight? Um, just the only thing that I'm pushing is, you know, uh, we're in a fight right now. Uh, you know, I haven't been around, but I've been doing my part advocating behind the scenes. Uh, as I've always said, if we don't band together, we will be banned together. And as in Massachusetts right now, we are banned. Uh, and this is why I am going the DIY route. This is why I'm learning to DIY and I'm going to show some friends to do so themselves. And those that are not comfortable, I will help my friends out. I am not going to let them go back to cigarettes and kill themselves. Yeah. Um, call call your governor's offices. Call the White House. Call your representatives. Do your part. Don't just sit there and say, oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely going to do it. Because we had a rally in Massachusetts and 55 people showed up. 55 out of how many people that vape in Massachusetts and that are voicing their opinions, oh, this sucks, this sucks, I can't believe this, this sucks, and 55 people show up at a rally. Do your part. If you're going to do something, do it. Don't just talk about it. Do it. So we're in for the long haul. Props to New York. Let's hope fucking Michigan breaks theirs as well. Great news from New Jersey. Keep up the fight. 
don't stop. Yep. That's all I got. All right. Thank you, Ash. Lumi. Hey, Lumi. Where can they where can they find where can they find wild loomies? I got it. I got it. Okay, here's a link to my Twitch where you can find me streaming. You have Amazon, you get a free Twitch Prime subscription which you can use on an affiliate Twitch streamer. I happen to be one. It is basically a $3 super chat which Lumi greatly appreciates. There is a link to my Discord and my Instagram and my Gmail. I will do better at replying back to you quicker if you are asking about DIYing. <laughs> if you are able to sit down and have like a quick video chat with me. And then we got Fresh over here holding up skulls. I have skulls and donuts that happen to be for sale. That donut's awesome. So, if you're interested in skulls, donuts, or even braided coils, DM me. I have pictures up on my Discord with their prices along with I put pictures up on Instagram. Thanks for having me. If you find yourself with that extra cash, maybe go over to Vaporize GoFundMe. And support him a little bit in the, his family, well his family in this time of need. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here, Lumi. Toonie! Toonie, take us out on take us out. Oh, hey, Lumi. Right. Hug the ones you love. Tell them you love them every day. Lumi, I love you. Fresh, I love you. Hesh, I love you. And um, thanks for hanging out with us and chat. Love you guys as well. And uh, get off your butts and vape. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. I'm, wa I'm, waving with my, I'm waving with my cat. Anyway. Kitty syndrome. <laughs> That's some pretty funny stuff there, Freshy D. <laughs> she didn't anyway, like it. She didn't like that. She didn't like that. Now, if you would have done.